I can show you my latest delivery. I decided to buy all new glass for my car. Um, I was checking my old glass and it's just scratched, scratch, scratch, scratch. I didn't have a windshield. It was all busted. But looking at my side glass, I thought, you know what? If I got to buy a windshield and I got to buy back glass, I might as well buy the side glass. But I ordered this stuff. It came in a very large box strapped to a pallet, truck freight, of course. And I was concerned. I've ordered windshields for pickup trucks and they've showed up broke three times in a row. Uh, there's no way. But I'll tell you, these guys wrapped their glass. These were wrapped in paper, wrapped in bubble wrap, wrapped in more bubble wrap, and then put in a box. And that box was put in that box with the windshield and back glass. And like I say, they use probably a whole roll of bubble wrap for this stuff. The back window had these pads all the way wrapped around it. It too, wrapped in paper, wrapped in bubble wrap, which very nice, very nice. As for the windshield, there's probably a quarter of a roll of bubble wrap. This thing was wrapped around and around and around and around and around. Very nice shape. And they have this little rubber trim that they added as a little protection to go all the way around it. Very cool. I really wasn't expecting all this glass to show up, one of them not being broke or cracked. So very happy with the service. When I called, they told me it takes five to seven, maybe even eight days truck freight. I ordered it and two days later, it was delivered to my house. <laughs> my wife said the truck driver was even very nice and she had him putting it in different spots in the garage. He said he thought he was moving furniture around for his wife. That's how my wife was like, no, put it over here. No, put it over here. Finally, they decided on a spot. And when I came home, I said, it didn't matter. I was going to put it in the back of the truck and haul it back to the building anyway. But very appreciative of this company. It was kind of expensive, but yet it's cheaper than buying a set off eBay that are bought from the same company. So anyway... That's my glass, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna put it in yet. I'm trying to decide if I wanna just wrap it back up, put it back in the box and push it over in the corner, and hopefully it won't get damaged till I'm ready for it, or just go ahead and install it in the car now, and I can always tape it off like I did this piece. Just mask them off, tape them off when I get ready to paint the car and leave the glass in it like a lot of people do anyway, so we'll see what I do. Thanks for watching. My brother, he stopped by today and helped me put this windshield in. He's never done one before. I told him I've done a couple. And it's not really that difficult. I think he was pretty surprised how well it went in. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Got some blocks underneath it yet to let everything set so window won't slide down. As soon as it all dries, I'll be happy. Then I'm going to start working on the back window. Because I sure would like to get this all cleaned up and get a back window in it next. Yes, some people say you're supposed to paint the car before you put the glass in. No, for me it's let's put the glass in, make sure everything fits, get it glued in. We can mask it off and then paint it so you don't scratch the paint trying to put glass in. Here's the passenger side glass. I've got to put all little, what do you want to call them, rollers and pieces in here so it'll run on the rails. So that's what I'm going to try right now. Um, I'll see how it goes and get some video of the next one. I'm going to show you a little trick I had to do to get these little window, I guess they call them glass window nuts. They do make a tool for them. You know, I, I was kind of in a hurry. I do not want to wait three or four days to put my glass in. So I don't know if any of you have ever done a brake job, but they have these blocks to turn pistons in. And what I did is these two pins right here, I modified them. I ground them down just enough that those two pins 
will actually, if you turn them right, boy, I'm having a hard time. Right there, they catch. And that's how you can turn those in. That is what I did over here too. That's how I actually got them. That's how I actually got them out of the old car. But yeah, that's one of the things that I had to do because I just was not going to wait for that tool. And I had this block sitting around anyway. All right. Got my side glass on the patch side in. It's not completely adjusted yet. I'll still have to adjust it once the weather stripping and everything's in there. But I can't close the door. I won't be able to open it back up at this point. But yeah, it's close. It may need a little tweaking once I get there. I'm sure it will, you know, tearing it all apart and everything. But gotta just make sure I don't hit any of that metal in there on that window. Because I don't have sweeps in there, but I do have. I do have the other. It goes down just fine. So, hey, progress. I have to fix those hinges too. I think a little oil and lube would take care of that. But. All right, on to the next project.